let's get back to work, shall we? So let's go to, to question six of, of our prep exam. Let's go. Okay. Uh, no, not this one. Let's just review the question first. Not that one either. This one here. Let's go. So um, here we have to, uh, on question six or task six, we're going to deal with AutoFS. Okay. So AutoFS, is, it's, it's our auto monitor. Again, I'm going not, not, not going to teach you at this point what AutoFS is. I'm just going to show how to um, resolve the question. But if we want to check my playlist, the one, uh, one, three, four, one, two, one, 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 two, four, you can check it out and I explained everything there. So let's use the AutoFS to auto mount a, a, a file system. And this is going, they, they are going, they ask you to is basically mount two folders on the same NFS server, the public and the private folder. Public needs to be read only uh, and read and the private read write role, or it can be uh, the other way around. It doesn't really matter at this point. So one is going to be read only, though the other one read write, but it will depend on the situation. You just read the question and uh, and do accordingly. And uh, they need to be, uh, that the, they get mounted with a 30 second timeout, okay? I forgot, I remember clearly uh, when I did my exam for the fifth time, to uh to forget to add the 30 seconds uh, timeout thing in Uh I had full marks, uh, but don't don't be me. At that at the parameter it, it takes you two seconds, so there is no actual excuse for not to do it. Okay. Uh, and uh I say here this is a wild card, meaning not everybody gets it, which means that uh, not this is not this is not going to show to everyone. So some people get this question, some people don't, but might as well get prepared for it to pop. So let's go to server A. Let's get some root access. Okay. So the easy way to go around is you can you can go you can just install the minimal packages for things to work, uh, or you can just uh, go full bore and 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 in just use what you need. So in full bore and installed all the NFS stuff and installed all the AutoFS stuff. It's a little bit overkill, but just just might as well do it. So install all the NFS stuff, install the auto FS stuff, and you should be we have all the client tools and all the server tools, whatever. It's a little bit on overkill, maybe, uh, but um, it does, it's not that bad. You just use what you need, and in the exam they just don't care. Okay, you just need to make things work accordingly. Now uh, this is this is how I do it. So I just do I create a directory called auto mount slash private i mean um i don't want to do this directory it's on the instructions right so just follow the instructions public okay and this is the first part if you remember correctly in the questions they actually explicitly said said that okay so you need to be mounted on the auto mount directory so it's here okay so it's going to be auto mount private auto mount public and it should be okay so they tell you everything in the instructions, just follow along. Okay, <clears throat> then uh, you just go to the VIM etc, uh, what it's called, auto.master, yeah. Auto.master, this is really writing the, uh, the auto FS. Again, go check my uh, videos about that. Um, you can put this in, in anywhere, okay. So um, let's add something like, I don't know, um, Let's put it like this, okay. Um, sure, see so it works. Auto mount, and it's going to have um, a file called auto dot auto mount. So the the way you, the way we configure this, it's a little bit a little archaic, a little bit old school, but it just works. It's fine. Don't forget the minus minus timeout. It goes 30, okay, it's for the 30 thing, 30 second thing, thick, 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 for the 30 second thing they ask. And let me, let me think a bit. Um, yeah, this is pretty enough. We, you can just drop everything else on the file. Cool. Now you just edit the etc auto dot auto mount. You just, you just not created, but we just specified auto mount. Um, yep. And then you just add the two folders. So public, public was read only, right? You can add the sync. Then you just specify the server, NFS, 
.lab.example.com uh, column public and you just copy paste for a little bit easier and just paste this and private okay I read only I'm, I mean rewrite in this case and this is the private So I just noticed a typo here. If you are following along on my, on my PDF, I say public public and it's not public public. So let me fix the master file here before I forget. And it's public private. Private, okay. And also DNF install. Oops. DNF install AutoFS. Cool. So I have my, I'm just fixing my um, master file here. And it's, it looks pretty cool. I just need to fix something here. Column. Um, Let's pull this up a little bit and we're good. Okay, my master file is fixed. Let's carry on. We save and quit. All good. Now, in order to make things work, if you want to make sure that the that specific NFS server is working, you can do show mount minus E nfs.lab.example.com. You should see the private and public shares. They are there. Perfect. So this is what you get from the, the NF install NFS, uh, NFS asterisk, okay, star. And you get this tool, so might as well use it. You don't have control. You don't have control over the NFS server itself. You just control. You just, you can check the shares, but you have control over the server itself, okay? Now, on the client side, it's CTL, minus, minus. Now, enable AutoFS. So it started and enabled, so it looks to be okay. And uh, I believe we are, well, ready to test. So let's do CD auto amount. CD private. Private. There we go. CD public. There we go. The photos are empty, so I know I don't I can remember if they had something if they had something there during the exam. Probably they will, but it's it's mounted, it's perfectly fine, it's working, and it's perfectly done. So our task is it's done. Everybody can use the auto mounts to mount the private and public folders, and that's task six done. Like, subscribe, and comment. It really helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.